for those of us who were gone for our lesson on circumference, here's a quick review of what we've talked about in class. So before we can start in on circumference, we need to know some vocabulary about a circle. So we have three vocabulary terms. The first is the radius. It's half the distance across the circle. So I'm going to label it right here on the drawing as well. But this short distance, so basically think from the center out to the side is the radius. It's half the distance across. Then we have the diameter. This is the distance all the way across the circle. So think all the way through that center. So this one here is going to be my diameter. And it's a good way of helping you remember what the measurements are and what the names are by actually labeling them right there on the actual picture itself. And then our last one is the circumference. Think of this kind of like the perimeter. It's the distance around the outside of the circle. So you can actually write circumference over here. We could write it again over here. But just by writing it around the shape, it helps us see that it's the distance around the outside. It's going around. Then we have to talk about radius and diameter a little bit more. So, start with diameter. Diameter is all the way across and radius is halfway across. So, if I know what the radius is, I need to multiply it times 2 to get the diameter. The diameter is all the way across. It's twice the way across. Radius is just halfway. It takes two radiuses to get to one diameter. So, as a formula, we would see it as diameter equals 2 times the radius. Now going the other way, if I want to find the radius but I'm given the diameter. Well remember diameter is all the way across the shape whereas radius is just halfway. So I just want half of the diameter so I just divide by 2. So radius is equal to diameter divided by 2. So now we got our vocabulary down, now let's put it to use. So to calculate the circumference, the distance around the outside of the shape, one number we're going to use is something called pi. It's that big number you see in the poster on my door. Its symbol is this one. It's kind of a squiggly line on top and then two lines down. And we're just going to approximate it or use the approximation of 3.14 for pi. I know a lot of calculators have a pi button, but you can also just use 3.14 in your calculations. But you can calculate circumference two different ways, depending on what measurement you're given. If you're given the diameter, you just do pi times the diameter. If instead you're given the radius, you just do two radiuses, two times radius, same thing as a diameter, times pi again. That pi is always going to be involved in the calculations involving a circle, because it involves the it's the ratio between the circumference and the diameter of a circle. So for every problem I ask you to do in the, our circle unit or this part of the unit, I'm going to ask you to spell out the radius, the diameter, and then do your calculation. I'm forcing you to write them both so you can't get confused about which one you have. So in our first example here, 42 is the distance all the way across the shape. So that means it's the diameter. Diameter is all the way across. Radius is just halfway across. So think of it as diameter divided by 2. So 21 meters. To calculate circumference, the easiest one to do is just to use our formula up here, pi times the diameter. So to find circumference, I do pi times my diameter of 42. So in my calculator, I would type it in as 3.14 times 42. And I'll check that real quick. And I get oh, 131.88. We're dealing in meters, so it's going to stay meters. That's it. So let's try this next one. 4.5 is the radius. It's just halfway across our circle. So it's 4.5 millimeters. Remember, the diameter is the distance all the way across. So it's a 4.5 and another 4.5, or 4.5 times 2, which is 9 millimeters, because the diameter is twice the distance. It's all the way across instead of halfway. 
For circumference, let's try our other formula. Since we know the radius, let's do 2 times pi times my radius, or 0.5. You could have also gone and used the other formula and plugged in the diameter. So I'll do 2 times 3.14 times 4.5. So I did 2 times 3.14 times 4.5 and I got 28.26. We're dealing in millimeters, so it stays millimeters. But that's it. You find either your radius or your diameter and then plug it into the appropriate formula. So two more, and then we're done. So a tire has a radius of 22 centimeters. 22 centimeters. Remember, radius is halfway across. Diameter is all the way across. So diameter is twice the distance, or 44 centimeters. To find the circumference, we just do pi times the diameter. So I'm going to do pi, 3.14, times my diameter, 44. And that gives me 138.16 centimeters. Oops, sorry, it's wiggling on me there. 138.16 centimeters. Next one says a diameter of 15 yards. So the radius is just going to be oh, divided by 2. 15 divided by 2 is 7.5 yards. And then I do my circumference. Circumference is, let's use the radius this time, 2 times pi times the radius. So I do 2 times 3.14 times my radius of 7.5. No matter which formula, which of the two formulas you use, you're going to get the exact same answer. Because 2 times the radius is the same thing as the diameter, so it's not really changing. But in this case, I get 47.1 yards. So circumference is either 2 times pi times the radius or pi times the diameter, whichever measurement you choose to use.